Hey everyone, uh, today is the first day of Unit 6, so we're really coming down to the wire um, for our intercession course. I am just finishing up with your work from Unit 5, I just have the journals to go, so uh, in terms of just letting you know where I'm at with that. Um, I enjoyed looking over your long lists for the final project. Um, seems like we're all in pretty good shape to move forward with that project. Um, I did want to make a couple of clarifying points as you begin to put your work in Storify. Number one, it's never a bad idea um, to write your work in Word first, uh, or you know, pages, whatever it is you use, and then copy it into Storify. That way, if you lose your internet connection or anything happens, um, you haven't lost everything. Um, that doesn't usually happen. I mean, Storify is sort of like Google Docs, if you use that, where your work is immediately saved. Um, but you just never know, and it's always better to be safe than sorry. So uh, please do keep that in mind. When you go to work in Storify, um, please remember that what you're doing there is you're creating um, an enhanced annotated bibliography. Uh, we're looking at the credibility and reliability of the sources that you found. So we're using sources from the internet. Uh, many of you have found YouTube videos. Um, and you've also been asked to include academic sources from Suncat OneSearch or similar. Um, so you're bringing together a variety of different kinds of sources so that you can think about the different ways that you might approach thinking about their credibility and reliability. Of course, we should hope that the academic sources are credible and reliable, and they should help provide a baseline for you to evaluate the other sources' credibility and reliability. Um, so what you're going to do in this Storify project is you're going to drag in each of your sources through the Storify editor. You just put the URL in the box on the right-hand side of the page, as is outlined in the tutorial provided uh, here in Blackboard. Um, and then below that, you're going to write your annotation paragraph for each individual source. In that paragraph, that's where you address credibility and reliability. You also want to provide um, a brief summary of what the source is about. And then overall, at the end, you want to explain how the source helped you to address your research questions or not. Um, if the source didn't help you to address those questions, you'll want to explain why that is the case. You know, what did it talk about instead? Don't just say, no, this didn't, uh, this didn't help me. Go a little bit deeper than that and say, you know, this is what the source did do, but it didn't help me with my research questions. That part of the annotation is what is going to tie the project all together. Um, so once you've done the annotations, you're also going to put an introduction paragraph at the beginning, a conclusion paragraph at the end that um, introduces the topic to readers, and also states your research question and your thesis statement. So once you've done all the work, you'll know what your overall answer to your research question is, and that's your thesis statement. That's what you want to give right at the beginning so that readers know exactly where you're going. You know, this is what I've learned from all these sources, and then your annotations lay out the evidence for that. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out is that a few of you um, used the MILE, the History of New Mexico on Inkling, um, as one of your sources. Um, because you have so many other sources, I'm totally fine with that. But do keep in mind the kind of analysis you need to do on the textbook. You need to talk about credibility and reliability, and you need to talk about the way that it helped you to answer your research questions. Um, finally, um, I have asked you to include social media. That includes blogging, uh, Facebook, Twitter, maybe even Instagram, um, you know, depending on what you've been able to find. The idea there is just to see what people are sort of saying in informal ways about your topic, if anything at all. Um, they may not be the most credible of sources. You may have to just point that out. Um, but it is kind of interesting to see, you know, how are people just talking about this? How does this pop up in um, more mundane kinds of conversations on the Internet? Um, so that's sort of the, the question you want to answer there in terms of looking at the credibility, reliability, and contribution of social media sources. Hopefully that's a helpful um, reminder for the final project. As with everything else, 
If you have any questions, concerns, please let me know as soon as you can, and I'll be more than happy to help out.